What's good, crew? It's your girl, KDZ, baby, and I'm back again, y'all, with another video. Hey, video. <laughs> y'all. I sounded kind of like Anna Oop there. Let me change this light, because this light is pissing me off, okay? It's pissing me off, all right? Anyways, okay. Anna Oop, Dixie Shades, Charlie and Chase getting back together? Noah Beck likes Charlie? Dixie responds. All right, y'all. So let's see how this goes. One of you guys has been really requesting for me to react to this one. So I'm going to get to it. All right, let's get to this video. One, two, three. Um, did Dixie D'Amelio just throw shade at her own sister for getting back with Chase? Ooh. Hey, love, your girl is back, back again you. with a hot hey. and shady recap for you guys. That's and something. y'all, Noah Beck is really out here giving us more hints that he's secretly in love with Charlie D'Amelio. I really wish That's I was wrong this time. In today's recap, he, we're going to be talking like, about Dixie D'Amelio shading her sister Charlie after 16. reuniting with Chase Hudson. Noah Beck Back giving us more hints once again that he has a big crush on Charlie D'Amelio. And not only that, he's also responding to him getting shipped with Dixie. <laughs> this one will definitely leave y'all shook. So without further ado, let's get right into the tea. <laughs> let's be real, y'all. We probably didn't expect this would ever happen. But many people believe that Dixie is acting very shady towards Charlie and Chase getting back together. Y'all might have heard about the mess that has been going on lately about Chase reuniting with Charlie after he was caught hanging in her house. Again! But you guys, Chase ended up deleting the picture fast to try and avoid any more rumors. Later on, Charlie decided to come forward to try and debunk these rumors even more by claiming that he wasn't in her house in the first place. Here's what she had to say. Were you hanging out with Chase last night? Because people were kind of lining up pictures saying that you guys were together. I was not. I was not. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. What I'm about to say could hurt some people, but I don't give a shit. Uh, you sure about that? Anyways, after Charlie denied these rumors, Chase and Charlie herself actually went ahead and shocked the world by posting a TikTok together, leaving many fans hella confused about the entire situation. Just take a look at this. <laughs> Imagine the entire TikTok community was very shocked by the fact that Charlie and Chase reunited. Since, well, y'all remember TikTok or get him. Right. Yeah, y'all. Many were in fact not here for them getting back together, with many saying she needs to know her worth. Can she stay away from him for like one minute? Okay, so but how do y'all know they're together? For nothing. Just because they hang out. Now, as many fans were expressing their anger and confusion towards the situation, Dixie D'Amelio, on the other hand, decided decided to be very shady in the comments towards Charlie, saying all that for what? You did this for what? Tixie is so real. <laughs> Besides this, even Thomas Petru came forward and made sure everyone knows that they're just friends. My favorite friendship. Well, um, at the end of the day, it really is up to Charlie whether she wants to be friends with Chase or not. But exactly. I really hope she knows her worth now. Okay, Period. but friends, but anyways, you know, they can be friends, they can get back Charlie together. People make Chase? mistakes, man. Do you Some think people get better. Be more than friends again? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> so, um Noah Beck is not only crushing on Charlie, you guys, but he's also getting shipped with Dixie as well. This boy went from being the most innocent TikToker to the most controversial. No words. If you have seen my previous videos, you probably know that Noah Beck has been getting shipped a lot with Dixie lately. And not only that, but even rumors started going around that Dixie could be dating Noah after they were allegedly caught holding hands. Now, weeks after these rumors started circulating, we didn't hear much about Noah and Dixie getting shipped any longer. However, it got real messy again when Noah recently decided to like a TikTok where he was being shipped 
with Charlie. Just take a look at this. Your biggest turn. Oh no, I can't watch this. I'm going to be watching that video. But guys, as many fans started freaking out about this, others weren't really here for it at all, with many saying that Noah should be with Dixie instead. And after all this, Dixie decided to clear up all the rumors once and for all when asked about by Charlie. Take a look at this. What do you and Noah do when you guys hang out? <laughs> um, he's cool. What are you waiting for, huh? Now, when Dixie said all of this, her fans weren't really believing her at all. With many saying that Dixie got very uncomfortable when asked about it, and that I, I there might to that video be too. a reason for it. The awkward laugh. Okay, but why would Charlie ask that question if she didn't want to bring attention to it? She was uncomfy. Anyways, while people were still shipping them together, Noah, on the other hand, finally came forward and put an end to all of this by saying... Dad, we're shipping you with Dixie, right? Is that just a rumor, or what, what do you think about that? No know. comment on that? She's okay. cool. Okay, well, that's that's good. That's good. And not only did this happen, yeah, this but they has to be something made it on. very clear that her sister Dixie isn't really dating anyone, including Noah Beck. People are shipping Dixie and Noah. What do you think about that? I don't know. You think I mean, a couple? they're friends, okay. but they're not dating okay. or anything I, like I, that. I, you guys, I really hope Dixie is not dating another boy from the Sway House because, let's be real, they're very toxic and she deserves better. Period. But anyways, y'all, what's your opinion on Dixie and Charlie getting shipped with Noah Beck? Are people taking it too far? Also, what did you think of today's recap? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you so much. All right, y'all. So my thoughts. Okay, this light needs to stop, okay? Anyways, my thoughts about this. Okay, so hmm, I do agree that What is that noise? I don't know. I do agree that they both need to stay away from Sway Boys. <laughs> okay? Like, and I don't know. Noah, like I said, he seems like a very sweet guy, okay? And I just, I don't know. I don't know. But he definitely should not be shipped with Charlie. That is wrong. How old is he? Like 18, 19, 20, whatever. She's only 16. That's really weird. Okay. I bet she would be feeling uncomfortable for sure. Um, and Dixie, I mean, a hey, I don't know. If they just friends, then that's cool. If they're friends with a little extra ting, then that's cool too. But um oh yeah, Charlie is you know, maybe back with Chase, or maybe they're just really close friends now. I mean, they're cool, I'm sure. Be like, I don't know. I understand why. I just have a lot of thoughts, okay, coming out because they're just, it's just needing to come out. I don't think they wanted anybody to know that they were with each other, obviously, you know. Anyways, yeah, I don't think they wanted anybody to know that they were, you know, with each other at that time because then it would stir up stuff and things would be going around and it would just be chaos and they don't want that, I'm sure. They just wanted to hang out, be alone with each other. They wanted to be alone with each other and just do what they wanted to do, you know? But yeah, thank you guys for suggesting this video. Make sure you give this video a like. Comment down below your thoughts. What do you guys think about it? And um, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you know what I post and you'll see me in the next video, y'all. Stay lit. Yeah. It's KDZ,